Hey, what's up, Kevin, Emmanuel? And this is gonna be a Q and A um, video. And first, before we start, I want to make a shout out to Digna, Lulu, and Freddy. Yeah. And uh, I almost forgot. Also, Jocelyn, shout out to her. She wanted a shout out on this video. And um, yeah. All right. So the first Q and A question is, will by Lali Do. Um, shout out to her. Um. What are your ambitions for the future? Uh, my ambitions for the future is to be able to uh, graduate from college and be able to be successful and you know get paid for what I love to do. And uh, she asked two questions and she's like, what do you recommend for someone who has a good voice but but's afraid to show it? Um, I feel like you should you should um, put yourself out there and you know show your talent and show what you're capable of. And I'm pretty sure you'll get far with it. And you shouldn't give up on your dreams and do what you do and yeah. Uh, all right, so the next question is by Letty Gomez, and she said, "Okay, it's a little crazy, but if I were if I were to die, how would you guys truly describe me to someone that never got to know me, for there to really feel the way I was, and how I acted around everyone, and what is one of the funniest best memories that you guys have?" with me or about me <laughs> well like I said if you were to pass away and we would we had to describe you to someone <laughs> I think well what, what I would say I'd be like oh you were an outgoing person you're pretty cool to hang around with you're actually someone easy to talk to and you, you know you're I guess you're fun to be around with you're pretty uh, cool and you give good advice yeah, yeah that too. and the best memory I'd say um, well, I mean, we, we've had a lot of memories, you know, like we have seven periods together and, you know, we're always like talking about any random stuff and uh, yeah, that's pretty cool about you that, you, that you're outgoing and, you know, we could talk about anything and like, yeah. Hmm. I guess my best memory was ninth grade. Yeah, I used to sit next to you. <laughs> I used to mess around all the time. Yeah, it was, it was fun. Uh -oh. <laughs> Um, next one is by Steve Arredondo. And he said, Why the fuck you moved from the hood and left me alone doing pranks? Well, honestly, la, la, la economia. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just playing. Uh, yeah, I miss, I miss like messing around uh, with you in the, in the old block. And and yeah, I moved because, you know, it was where I am now living. It's, it's cheaper and it's, it's a little better. It's, there's more space. And um, yeah. And for Kevin, they say, why are you so handsome? Steve. Well, I'm handsome because... Your parents had good sex? <laughs> My, <laughs> yeah, what do you say? <laughs> My parents, you know. Well, thank you. And then Brian... I'll go for it. Brian said, should you worry about doing things right or doing the right things? Hmm. It's a trick question, but... Should you worry about doing things right or doing the right things? I think it's better to do the right things since you don't want to mess up in, in something and uh, yeah. yeah like I agree yeah, with it's, it's a trick question yeah uh, Leslie Sanchez she said do you guys choose the wrong girl or does the girl choose the wrong guy honestly it's not really about choosing the wrong person it's about getting to know the person before you actually choose that you want to be with him or her honestly, uh, a girl, yeah, you can say, oh, I made a mistake by dating him. Or either a guy could say the same thing about a girl. But it all depends who you fall for. Yeah. You can't blame your feelings. You feel what you feel and you are who you are. Okay. Is it bad to like your best friend? Honestly, I think um, you should uh, be able to talk with your best friend about your feelings. And if he feels the same way, it's, I mean, it's probably going to be a, a good relationship because you guys know each other really well and you guys are best friends and you know you guys could tell each other anything and then it will just make your relationship stronger and then I suggest you just go for it and and tell him and let him know and let him know what you feel and yeah that's pretty much it yeah. um, chicken legs or pigeon legs I don't know what do you guys think <laughs> I don't know what you guys think. Chicken legs. I have no idea what you're trying to Yeah. 
Um, so Chris Best said at Honey Ice 10, what made you want to create a YouTube account and upload videos in it? Um, well, there was a day where I was just bored and then I just started like recording with my old phone and and then yeah, since then like I felt like I felt like a little comfortable with the camera and then afterwards I, I don't know I just started doing videos and and I don't know trying to help out people with anything they need help on and any questions they have or anything and um, yeah new things will be coming up soon and in, in this channel and and it'll be good if you guys help um, subscribe and share the videos and um, yeah pretty much so this one I'm gonna do this one alone and Clara and Stephanie wrote on mine uh, she commented on my Facebook site she put Majestic did you have fun Sharma. with your most beautiful beyond gorgeous girlfriend <laughs> and felt happy when she went over there and well yeah I did have fun you know it was amazing having her here you know and I love spending every second I got to spend with her because I don't get to see her every day or I don't get to you know just spend like time with her like everyone else you know honestly all the couples that are out there you know that have problems and you guys know you can work them out work them out because you guys should feel happy and you know that you guys can see your girlfriend like I can't see my girlfriend as much but yeah we talk on the phone we will but you know it's not it's not the same same as when you have you the person you truly love or really like you know, close to you so take advantage of what you have and make the best out of everything and yeah I was happy when she came here it was picking her up at the airport was the most amazing feeling ever I finally get to have her in my hand and my get to hold her in my arm you know it was it was lovely you know I to say I really did fall for her deeply yeah I am in love I, honestly I don't care what people say if they say oh I'm done because I'm gonna love her Hey, love is love, and you want to know who you're gonna fall for. So don't judge, you know, and you know, just don't be afraid to show your feelings to someone if you know that, you know, it's the right thing to do. And honestly, on my part, yeah, I did have so much fun, you know, spending time with her and every second with her. Yeah. And uh, this special shout out goes to someone that means a lot to me, and has always been there for me, and has always supported me. And um, this girl means a lot to me. And um, this shout out goes to um, Elizabeth Tamayo. And um, well, first of all, I want to say she's very pretty. She's very outgoing. And I gotta say, I love her personality. I love the way how we could be ourselves with each other. And you know, um, every every second I spend with her is, is joy. And you know, we do the weirdest things and you know we're we're so random with each other and we're lovey-dovey and um that's one of the reasons why people think we're dating but honestly we're not dating and i can't go into details with that but all i gotta say is that this girl has has a special place in my heart because like we, we have a story of how how we met and how we got close to each other up to this day um you know every day um, I tried my best to put a smile on her face and she always puts a smile on my face and um, yeah it's, it's great having a, a pretty close friend with you who you could be yourself with and you know be able to share nice memories and you know we're gonna create way more nicer memories more beautiful memories and uh, yeah she means a lot to me and I mean a lot to her um, honestly she's, she's we have a one-of-a-kind relationship as uh, so we me and her say it and um, yeah, she means a lot to me. And um, this shout out is for her. And I hope she likes it when she sees this video. And I hope I can put a smile on her face. And um, yeah, lots of love for her. And yeah. Um, this shout out goes to the homie Marlo. Um, sometimes he could be like really annoying, but a lot of times he could be like really funny. Like he could make me crack up a lot. And yeah, he's like pretty cool, chill. He's like a cousin or a brother to me. And yeah, he could like, he could make a lot of people laugh. Like he's the loudest one from school. Oh, so cute. <laughs> and yeah, well that's the shout out for my homie Marlo. 
and yeah this wraps up the video and hope you guys could like it or share it and subscribe to the channel Emmanuel Arriaga last name is spelled A-R-R-E-A-G-A and uh, yeah support him and uh, help him do the video and, uh, I hope you guys like it. Peace.